Yo, yo. What's going on? Well, it's good, dude. How you been, man? Pretty good. Busy as fuck. Good, Very dude. Good. Busy's good, man. Busy's good. So, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah honestly, yeah. the the reason I wanted to do this is because, bro, the last uh, interview that we did is, like, just so fucking outdated now. Because, like, you... <laughs> I can't even believe that. It's just insane. When I watched it, you were like, yeah, man, like, I just signed my first two clients. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. But, like, I figured it out. And now you're, like, a full-fledged agency owner. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. I was like, yeah, man, we, d- we definitely got That's to actually that. insane. I can't believe how fast time goes. It's like freaking. It's crazy. It is insane. It's crazy, man. So honestly, man, like we're just kind of running the same way. So like, just tell me, man, like what's, what are you kind of up to now? Like, how's everything going with the agency? Like, just talk a little bit about the business. Talk a little bit about it. Yeah. Like, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great. Uh, 10 clients now. Honestly, like I, I could have had like, 30 by now if I just kept signing them like literally I could easily get that but I stopped like I just because uh there's you know I want to do a good job for the clients obviously um and um you know it's a lot like you gotta get like everything organized so I'm putting together like the processes for onboarding the processes for like uh you know list building ICP analysis like market research like helping them with the offer 100%. You know, think, thinking through lead magnets for them, um, and then you know, writing the actual copy, uh, doing the testing, like the spin tax. Like, there's just like so many things that you know, you know, you have to do right to make sure that the campaign goes smooth. And like, if you just miss stuff along the way, you kind of fuck up the whole thing. Like, if you, you know, there, if your list is inaccurate, you're kind of screwed. If you like, let's say, don't formalize like company names or like first names or something, then yeah, you know, yeah. lose a bunch of leads. 100%. Like if you don't, if like you, like there's spin tax tools now, like GPTs, and like if you use those, like some of them are don't actually work. So like when you yeah, they don't do, it, don't, like, do, they don't do it properly. Yeah, you no. got to go in there and do a little bit of manual stuff for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Totally. So it's like all these things need to be like SOPs and 100%. Uh, you have to be able to like teach someone it. Like, because obviously we know it, you know, in, in great detail, <laughs> like painstaking learning. But then, you know, trying to teach someone and put your knowledge into their mind is like a whole different game. Um, and, uh, you know, just getting each step organized one at a time, you know, it's like a flow chart is incredibly helpful. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's amazing. It's like, dude, we're having a completely different conversation than we were having like last time. I remember just like, dude, two clients, you know, figuring this out. And now you're talking about SOPs and scaling and putting together like project management systems so that you could like actually figure out the clients, you know, and onboard them properly and have everything going smooth, you know? It's like it's not, oh, yeah. it's not things you think about when you're signing your first client, but something you, things you have to think about when you have ten clients and you want to get to thirty, and you realize that you can only get to thirty if you systemize stuff, right? So yeah, it totally makes sense. So I remember like our first calls where like I was listening to you guys talk about this stuff, and I was like, God, I'll never be there. Like I have no yeah, idea what you guys are talking about. And then like at that at that first call, I think I was asking like. How do you put like the domain like the D mark on or yeah. something? And I was like, this is impossible. <laughs> hilarious. That's hilarious. So yeah, man, I'm I'm gonna kinda run through like the call similar like the interview style, like how we did it last time. And then sure. after that, like I'll stop it and uh, I'm gonna walk you through some stuff like towards the end too. So let, let's just get that out of the way so like I could like get it up yep. and then yep. yeah, we'll do it. So yeah, man, honestly, like kind of walk me through and just tell me like who was Joe? like eight months ago like six or eight months ago like before you joined the program what were you up to what were you doing and then talk a little bit about the transition to where you're at now and like you know your whole experience with your job and everything in the agency like just talk about the before and after and and all that definitely yeah so before i joined um i was working at a company doing some digital marketing stuff uh, mainly working in like hubspot uh, which is crm and um i just have always known that you know i was going to start my own business i had absolutely no clue what that business was going to be um you know i've been thinking for the last couple of years trying to figure out what's a good avenue to take 
Um, and I remember very vividly to this day, and I think I told you before, like, I was doing laundry, sitting in the laundromat in like this old disgusting chair, just looking at the dryer spinning. And I was like watching YouTube videos and I watched your video and I was like, Boop, like this, this is it. Like this is literally it. And um, I like literally just decided that day, like sitting in the laundromat with like 30 people in there like so mad that I couldn't like use the dryer I wanted. Like that's what I was like worrying about that day. Like, uh, because it's so full. And I was like, I know that this is the business I'm going to do. And, uh, after I think just like one month, um, or no, like one day I signed up for the course, basically like the second I talked to you, I just like already knew, like before we even got on the phone, I already knew I was going to, you know, get it. But like talking to you was so good. So helpful. Like, you, you know, like <laughs> every thought that I had, like you already knew it. And I was like, yeah, this is definitely it. And then like a month later, two months later, probably a little too early to be honest, but uh, I just left my job. I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. Like That's crazy. I'm just yeah. going on a hundred percent. Like, like there's, it's like a burn the boats thing. Like, and I was like, for the first time, I was like, I'm just literally going to do it. Like, there's no other option now. Like I have literally no job. I have no like health insurance, no nothing. And I was like, game on, uh, you know, went through the course as fast as possible, try to ask as many questions as possible. And then, you know, literally step by step follows the course and every step worked perfectly. <laughs> so it's like amazing, man. I mean, it's not no easy work, but the, the steps are like literally exactly what you need to do. Um, you just got to put in the time and the work and 100%. it works. Awesome, dude. So like. Dude, based on the results you've gotten so far, so it's like, dude, you got 10 clients now, right? Like, I think in six to seven months or something like that, I think you got to uh, 10 clients. So, w w honestly, where, where do you see yourself going in the next six to 12 months? Like, where are, you, where are your goals in the next six to 12 months? Yeah, um, I think I hit 10 clients at, like, the four and a half month mark, which is, like, literally insane. Um, wow. Yeah, like... And then I kind of, like I mentioned, put it on pause. So once I finish, I think in the next month, so like end of July, I, I think I should have everything kind of organized. Uh, my team, or my one person team, um, you know, kind of running most of the campaigns, you know, and have easy processes in place uh, to like launch new campaigns and, you know, uh, ensure like we always have clients campaigns running, uh, you know, planning ahead. Uh, after that, you know, I want to get up to at least 25 clients minimum. Um, and I think I can get to that by end of January. Uh, so end of January 2025, uh, 25 clients, um, you know, probably two, maybe two and a half employees at that time will probably be what I'll be at. Uh, if I systematize correctly, I should be able to do that. And then anything moving past that, like 30, 40 clients, I'll probably get like a supervisor type person to kind of help keep things organized um, and kind of oversee so I can step back a little bit more uh, and, you know, focus more just on sales and the overall operation itself. Um, just kind of make sure things are smooth, uh, you know, maybe be a little bit of checking in with clients and stuff like that, you know, seeing how I can improve my uh, services to them, you know, because at the end of the day, like it's all about the client. Um, so you want to be able to get the feedback from them and actually use it to, to keep improving, uh, your business, because no matter what anyone else tells you, like it, everything comes from the client. So if they're telling you, Hey, like, uh, I could benefit from, you know, seeing this metric or you communicating with me more often or less often or doing this or that, like, that feedback is invaluable. So just listening to your, your customers is, is really important once you get going. 100%. Dude, yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Like you're, you're building like a real business, right? And it's crazy how, you know, we were talking before and it was like one or two clients, but now you're actually probably one of the most successful guys in the program, right? Like you're, 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 you're really up there, right? Which is amazing. So like, I want to ask though, like, 
were you surprised at all by the results that you got like working with us like did you expect to be here in this time like just like t tell me a little bit about that like were you expecting to have like 10 clients in, like four and a half months quitting your job like two months in or like did you expect no. the expectations or like did you like say hey this is what i thought was going to happen like in my mind i knew that like i was going to be in the long term successful like i just decided that in my brain but i had no freaking idea that i have 10 clients like so fast or any clients to be literally honest like um i was very like you know you get very disheartened and especially in the beginning it's like really hard like that's the the biggest roadblock is yourself it's just in your mind like people always say that like so cheesy but literally like that's just reality like what helped me is like just writing literally write on a piece of paper with a pen like what you want to do what you want to achieve like i want to get x clients by blank and then just map backwards the steps well actually you don't even need to freaking map it just follow the damn steps in the course like that's the steps so like <laughs> just follow the steps and like and, and don't be like discouraged when you get like you know no replies or your first campaign like you're going to be terrible in the beginning. Like, like that's just it. Everybody Everyone is terrible. Is. I was, you were, everyone yeah. is, right? Yeah. 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 There's nobody born, like, just ready to do cold email. Like, nope. Like, you're going to be terrible at everything. And you just need to keep learning and asking questions. And that's how you get better. And it will happen faster than you expect if you're consistent, which is, you know, you know, maybe watch the course, like, at minimum one hour a day. And, and don't miss any days. Like you can't miss dates. You need to follow through. You need to be active in the community yeah. for the course. Like being active in the community is probably like one of the top things uh, I recommend um, because you get an insane amount of knowledge there. And it's like literally, it's also motivational. Like it keeps you pumped up. Uh, that's a huge part of it. Like I mentioned, like your mindset, but like being around people who are doing it, being around people who are, uh, succeeding in it, like a step ahead of you and a step behind you. That way you can gain support from those above you. And then you can give support to those behind you because that's motivational too, like you helping someone. And it also helps you to, you know, reinforce the learnings that you have, like you trying to teach someone something uh, is a super reinforcement for, for your learning. 100% dude. Very well said. Bro, I mean, honestly, wrapping it up to like a couple more questions, like, Let's say, let's say someone's watching my YouTube videos, they see stuff, they see this, they're like, hey, like, I don't know if this is right for me. They're on the fence, right? Like, what would you tell to someone who's on the fence, like, about starting working with us or just joining, starting their own agency? Like, what would you, what would you tell them? I would say don't <laughs> live your life on the freaking fence. Like, this is, like... This is a proven system, like over and over and over again. Like it's not, it's not like a gamble. The only thing you need to think about is, are you going to do the steps? Are you going to do the work? The course works, like uh, almost a hundred percent. Like <laughs> you just follow each step, and there's support all around you. Like there's safety nets everywhere. There's nothing like risky about it. The, the only thing that's risky is you, you know? So like if you're in, in your mind, you have to commit to it. So once you say like, yes, I'm gonna, you know, change my life, then I suggest starting the course. But, you know, if you're sitting there on the fence and you're like, you know, I don't know if this is the right course for me, it is the right course for you. <laughs> like you just need to, um, you just need to commit to it. Like, if you really want to change your life, you have to change what you're doing. And like, I buy courses freaking all the time. Like, why would you sit and try to learn something for 10 years by yourself when there's freaking people, experts doing it? Like, 100%. just pay a tiny fraction of what you're gonna make from the course, a tiny fraction of what you'll make from the course yep. to get years, light years ahead of, you may never get to where the course will get you. Like, and you'll get there in what, like a month, two months? Like it depends how fast yeah. you go through the course, but like, oh, man. you just fly ahead of everybody else. 
like there's thousands of people, yeah. you know, doing all kinds of stuff and, and, uh, but this so throws you way past them. It's so true. And honestly, like I'll end on this, like this is, that was amazing, man. Like going off of what you said, it's like the biggest problem isn't about the systems that we have or the program that we have or the support that we have. Cause obviously like people can see we've helped a lot of people do this, right? It's more so about, are they ready to like actually make a change in their life? Yeah. Like, it is a big change. It is a big change, right? And it's scary. Change is scary, but it's like, are you ready to actually become somebody who you want to be and actually take the steps to become that person that you want to be? Are you actually ready to do that now? Cause like, it's not going to be like just running through a flower field and like having fun. Like it's going to be hard. Right. Like, right. Having, you don't just sign up and you win. Like, <laughs> you don't just sign up and you win. Right. But like you have people like on, the, like I remember one of my favorite things about the community. And I think, I don't know if you would agree or not, but I think you said the community is like when we hop on the calls and the energy is just so high and we're just talking about life goals and like our dreams and like what we want to accomplish in our lives and like, and all that. And we're like, just talking so positively with each other that like it almost mm -hmm. becomes impossible to fail if you keep showing up like it's genuinely impossible to fail. Every single person who's consistently shown up to those calls and is active in the community has become successful. Literally. Literally. We haven't literally. had one person who hasn't shown up consistently who hasn't been successful, dude. And that's actually so that. funny. Literally, all the people that come to the calls with us every week they're all literally the they're most all successful have clients. Ones. yeah they're all, all of them clients. yeah everyone it's like that cool that's like 90 percent of life is just showing up that is so accurate like literally just keep showing up and putting in a tiny bit of not a tiny bit but just keep putting in consistent effort and you win like that's it that's there's that's like the secret that everyone's looking for it's just consistency just keep doing it like you can't get worse from practicing you only get better like you only win that that i think that's the secret that that's the secret that like the billion dollar secret, secret like, to life right? i know it's like just show up yeah just show up even yeah. if you don't feel like it just like take a tiny step towards the goal that's it and that that tiny step will motivate you but like yeah i i remember being like so uh you know depressed and like discourage sometimes like uh you know during some of the weeks and literally just going to the freaking call like pumped me up like back to the moon you know and like yeah. not even just for the business like for my whole freaking life like yeah i'm just like re-energized that's you what need, i you like you need the battery inside. boost man you need the battery it's boost. like refueling we all need it we all need it right like business business is it'll knock you down right it'll punch you like but like if you have people who are supporting you and are actually like you have people to lean on and who are people that are hype you up and actually it, there's two things there's people to actually hype you up but it's not just motivational guru, like guru bullshit all the time like they're motivating you and then they're giving you the actionable insight that you actually need to solve the problems in your business so that you could actually get to the next level a combination yeah. of those two things is like what is going to give you the success right and the best thing is like no, there's nothing personal and like everyone just talks straight to your face which is the best the best like if you need to hear like dude stop being a, like an absolute idiot like perfect yeah. tell me that like it's if like, i'm being an yeah, idiot like dude, you're you're not you're not the thing is just like dude you're not working as hard as you can and i know for a fact and you know for a fact too and you just need someone to tell you and then you're just yeah. like it kind of hurts to hear but like dude if you really want to have the success then having those people around you is actually going to propel you so, yeah then you just kind of be upset for a few minutes and then you're like god damn right and yeah then you're like that hell yeah, yeah. that like brothers yeah, uh, so sick. But yeah, dude, dude, honestly, like,